hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to learn about patterns and we are going to model three different types of them which i think after it you can pretty much model and create any type of pattern that you need so let's start first model that we are going to work on is a classic pattern which we can use for floors and we are going to use detail lines for it so go to annotate tab and click on it then first create a one by one square first of all we need to create two lines in the center to divide it into four parts then we are going to use this circle in this part first probably 35 centimeter and then we need to use this start and radius from this point to here create another circle with like 40 or 42 43 centimeter and then move it closer to this center then we need to select it and mirror it from this point to here split them from this point and this point and trim them together also you can delete this part now use this pick line and offset of one or two centimeter in here and also in these two parts then select the whole shape and mirror it for this part and for here now you can trim all of the extra parts together I feel like we need to make this part, this central part, a little bit bigger. So I'm going to select it like this. And with this scale, I'm going to make it bigger. Then go to annotate and detail line again and create another circle in here around it. And another one for its offset. Now we can delete these lines. Before we turn it into a pattern, I want to create another square around it just to have some distance between two patterns. So I'm going to select this peak line and offset of like 5mm in here and in these parts. So after we created this shape, we need a plugin for it. It's Pi Revit. It has lots of different options that you can use, but this time we are going to use this make pattern. First of all, we need to select our shape and then go to Pi Revit. Click on this make pattern and in this window, we need to first enter our name. So let's call it classic. Then you can choose if you want it to be a detailed pattern or a model pattern. We're going to go with this modern pattern. Now you can simply click on this create pattern. In here, you need to choose a point in the bottom left corner of the pattern, which is this part. And now you need to click on another point in top right corner of the pattern, which is here. Now you need to wait for confirmation. Okay. Let's test it first. I created these floor and walls in here. This is a very simple wall basic wall and in here we have a generic floor 15 centimeter generic floor and two other five centimeter generic floor again in here their type is the same but their shape is different so i'm going to use that pattern for this central part for this we need to select it and go to its edit type in here first of all we need to change its type and duplicate it because we don't want to use it in this part so simply duplicate it and go to its edit in here let's create a new material for it in graphic we are going to go to this part in this pattern section and click on here change it to model and if you scroll down you can find it in this part okay and change its color and if you move closer, you can see it in here. One thing about having pattern as a model pattern is that you can move them and align them with your element or with your object. So go to modify and use this align. First, click on this part. 
and then click on the center line and let's do it again for the other side too this area this part in here is one by one i created it like this to have a perfect fit for my floor and as you can see it could be very helpful when you want to present your project for a customer or a client now let's move on to the next pattern first of all let's create a rectangle in 1 by 30 centimeter one in this part and 30 centimeter or less you can go with 25 centimeters to then create a line in the center and create two other lines with like 20 or 25 centimeter offset in top and base then use this pick line and with offset of 5 millimeter create one line in here and another line on the other side now we are going to use this start end radius from this point to here like this and offset it with like one centimeter move this line to here and mirror it to the other side and then trim this part with here and this line with these parts delete this line and also this one and mirror them for the base now trim these parts too and delete this line again before we turn it into a pattern i'm going to create a rectangle around it with like five millimeter offset cool and now we can select it and go to pi revit before you click on this make pattern you can and select this outer line around it so hover your mouse over it and press tab and with shift unselect it we're going to use it but not for the pattern click on this make pattern and enter your name let's go with tile now you can hit create pattern for the bottom left corner i will click on this part exactly and for this part too i will click on this rectangle here perfect let's go to 3d view and test it for this wall select it and go to its edit type in here i'm going to first create a new material for it let's call it simply wall a and in this part for its surface pattern i will change it to model first and select this tile in here let's also change its color something like this and also okay and apply if this distance between these tiles is too much for you you can go to your pattern again and only select the shapes the lines inside this first rectangle this one in here and completely ignore this line let's move on to the last pattern which is very popular but it's a little bit hard to create we're going to create and edit it together so we learn every trick about this a brick with its mortar is something that we don't have as a model default model pattern in revit so let's create one the standard size for a brick is like 24 cm for its length and 11 or 12 cm for its width. You can go with those numbers if you want, but I'm going to go with 30 for its length and 10 for its width. Select it and copy it with 1 cm offset, which is for its mortar. You can go with 2 cm to Copy it for the row under it. Okay, now I'm going to create a line in this part and another line from its center to locate the next row exactly in its place. So select it and move it from this point to here. I think it's exactly in the center now. We can delete these lines okay now we are going to select them all and copy them a few times 
is a little bit too much and we are going to delete the extra parts for now i'm going to use detail line with another line style this white line from this part to here okay let's see it and another one from this point to here draw another one from here to here and this part okay now we can delete the extra bricks we need to delete this part but before we delete them in here if we want to have this distance exactly between the different tiles of this brick we need to move this line to here exactly and also this line should move down one more centimeter so we are going to change it to 12 you can unjoin it if you want we are not going to use this line we need to move these lines inside this part so we are going to use this extend and first you need to click in this part and then all of these parts and do the same for the other side select your shape but unselect this white line around it go to pyrevit and click on this make pattern give it a name for example brick a and click on this create pattern first click on this part and then in here okay go to 3d view and select your wall go to its edit type and this edit let's just change this pattern in here and select this brick a okay and change its color to perfect something like this okay it looks so good we only have one problem in here so you see this part with no mortar i think we need to fix it first turn off this thin line it's because we don't have one of these parts in here so if i move this one from this point to here exactly and trim it like this i think it will be right let's test it one more time real quick select it all and unselect these lines go to pyrevit and click on make pattern for its name you can select this brick a and click on this create pattern click on this part and here and okay yes that was the problem and we fixed it i think if you can model a brick pattern you can do any pattern that you need so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial bye